Welcome to the reshoot of, uh, I think it was a third week video, because of a sound difficulty I think I was able to fix them, I hope. So just in a little fast recap, this is 33, this is similar to the Atari 2600 Circus game, it's really good, it has uh, 18 variations, it's really good playable, it's a good game. Satellite attack, this time the minus version. It's similar to Asteroids, it's playable, but it's not the greatest space shooter, but maybe you enjoy it. Billiard, just a pool billiard simulation. Not really special, not that great, but it's playable. No, come closer. Ice hockey and soccer. Uh, both games are playable, but nothing really, really special. It's not so unique. So maybe you're interested in that, but I don't think so. More interesting is Monkey Shine. You have to play with monkeys, you have to tease them, you have to hurt them, and if you do it with a gates and do it with more monkeys, you get more points. I don't think it's a game uh, Peter or the WWF will uh, like these games, uh, but it's absolutely unique and makes a lot of fun. This is a must play and a must have, believe me. 38, the Mighty Munchkin, or the German top translation Super Um This was really famous because it's a Pac-Man clone and it's far better than the original Atari 2600 Pac-Man and it's absolutely a must-have for this uh, system it's better than the crazy chase than the second part so this is a really good game and you can make your own maces on the video pack edition so this is a good good tip 39 Freedom Fighters, uh, a unique space shooter, the only thing that is really interesting, you can play it on both ways, with a left or right, don't ask me. With one of the joysticks you can uh, just play it as a space shooter, with a little spaceship and shooting enemies, and with the other joystick you are uh, a space fighter and tries to evade uh, all the enemies. Uh, it's really interesting, if you more invade the enemies you get more points and the other way you get points by shooting the enemy so you can play this game on both ways that is really really unique a really good four in a row game is uh, this game the ai is very very good very very strong not so lame uh, as the chess version so it acts a little bit faster but can be really 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 long uh, but this is a really good game if you're interested in this, but this game doesn't run on a G7400. I think this was the recap of the video with a lot of problems. I think uh, you hear me better. <laughs> think, think, think. Um, so this was a recap. Now back to the video of the fifth week. Thanks again. Hello and welcome to, I think this is the final episode of my video pack collection. I got some questions. So, this is the difference between the plus version for number 20, left is the plus version, right is the minus version or the original version. Well, the screen of a 50 Super B and some want to see the cartridges. You know, this is a classic, classic cartridge and uh, the Parker version has just a different label, but it's the same design. And if you want to see the these manuals, but the uh, Magic cartridges look a little bit different. If you want to compare them, you see, just for your interest, there were a guy has a question about these cartridges. Yes, we are looking different. Well, I think you got it. And now, for the final episode, it's time for the boxes. So, welcome to 
this little episode of the boxes from the video pack collection. See you in a second. So it's time for the 41, the conquest of the worlds. So you have a world map. I come some closer. We divided some nations and some regions. So if you want to play this game, what is really nothing like uh, an updated version of number four of a video pack edition or combat from Atari 2600. But with this map, if you do it as a two-player game, you have to conquer some lands under some rules. So you get it's different. It's you see, it's easier than take over Greece than take over Germany or something else and then you get your money marks or something else and magnets this is all we do about this it's just an easy um, 10 rounds game from tank versus tank, tank versus sub, tank versus uh, plane um, and after these 10 rounds uh, the winner gets the country so just want to look in these little manuals this is the German manual. I only got the German and the French manual. So these are the instructions, what you do with the magnets, what you do with the money cards, what you do with a map. It's really interesting and it's I think these boxes are absolutely interesting for um, collectors. So if you are keen on the video pack games I think you should look after these boxes some a lot of people uh, doesn't know um, how uh, expensive these boxes are so maybe you get one really easy for 15 or 20 euros um, you have to just look for them so this was La Conquis du Mont or better known as Conquest of a World so, uh, until box 42. See Hello and welcome to 42 of the boxes from La Conquête du Mont to uh, La Quête des Anneaux. Just in a second. This is the world map you're playing in. It looks like an RPG similar to an D&D uh, &D, um, game and I think it's a lot inspired from D&D &D and of course Lord of the Rings your mission is to get 10 rings in a two-player game the rules are really simple I try to get it closer because this map looks really nice it's also a very nice box with a lot of things in it it's a two-player game you have four classes I um, show you in detail in a second the only thing that is really not so great um, I think the only possibility to uh, get a ring is to sacrifice one of your team members um, and that's not so great so speaking of the inbox this game has a keyboard layout so whereas a game master just like um, in RPGs and this game master defines the next dungeon, defines the next rules. It's really interesting, but it's a question if it makes really sense. Uh, but I think it's a nice try for a video game. Looking in the manual, it's the German version Das Geheimnis der Ringe, The Secret of the Rings. So, looking in detail. Here are the classes. I hope I can them can get them better. So you have a warrior. The warrior, of course, has a sword and can fight enemies. The wizard has a spell. This little star, yes, is a spell. The phantom or the ghost is able to walk through walls. And the shapeshifter, or here translated as changeling. I don't know if it's a I don't know this translation. I would call it uh, shapeshifter. 
and the shapeshifter is able to uh, be uh, look like an enemy um, but it's not so useful I think well, the, the typical combination is, is warrior and wizard so going down the manual the enemies so we have a dragon you have uh, spiders you have uh, zombies you have vampires it's really interesting we have the levels the dungeon the hell of course the hell the walking halls the crystal cave the crystal cave has a it's just invisible uh, blocks invisible walls that's the difference so it's a kind of playing the game. This is the number of rings you got. This is the ring. Uh, a look of something really interesting for you. This is the selection menu. So uh, they go all through classes and you have to activate them with a fire button. Ah, here are the stages in detail. This is the dungeon, this is the crystal cave, you see this is a little bit crystal look like the wandering halls are uh, blocks that move and hell of course are firewalls and absolutely deadly. Well, the items of a the game, these are the items I will show you in detail. This is the package, you see this is the things you get. I think that's nearly everything. The roots for the ringmaster, or better known as just the master. How to select games, how to select the rules. Yes, this was the quest for the rings. This was 42. The next box is 46. Thank you. Now it's time for the 46 and watch this box. Closed, open. Is it extremely cool with this? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's one of the finest special boxes I ever had seen. So, this time we are a broker and we sell and buy stocks, of course. So, this is the time frame, the annual prime rate. You see, this is a game that is 30 years old and is that detailed. It's amazing. It's really, really great. And now talking about a playbook. This is your playbook as a player. Stock prices, investments. It's amazing. It's really great. Even some board games have didn't have that quality. Speaking about the game, you see this is, I think this is the American version because it's golden. I don't get, I don't think I get this version as a kid, but it's playable. Right. So, I think these are some gold, silver and something really interesting. You have seen the investment record, not talking about the manual. You see the great Wall Street fortune hunt. This is the English manual. So this time it's really interesting for you. You see it's the expanded memory game cartridge. So it has a lot of things uh, happen on Wii's. So you see sets of share, right, token time frame token really interesting players net worth I think you play this with a maximum of four players at the same time um, you have 10 positions where you can uh, order stocks buy them sell them um, keep them and uh, you get some news flashes you look like that and with this news flash 
you are able to to know what happened with a market if uh, the prices will fall, the prices will rise, or something like. I was really uh, surprised as it, there was a news uh, that the Eastern uh, the Eastern egg hunt in the White House has been opened. Amazing. Uh, believe me, it nothing did to the market, of course, because that is not a great interesting information. You see, this, this manual is really interesting, you get some mathematics, you see how detailed this game is, and the, the only thing that, that bothers me, the steering is not so good, so you have to, to learn the steerings to, to sell and buy. Um, but if you can uh, manage it, it's really interesting. Now you see, these are the companies. We a description of companies you can buy shares from. It's it's that detailed. Exxon Corporation. I think I got something last time from IBM. Ha! Where are IBM? The International Business Machines. American Broadcasting. Interesting. It's really great. So, this was uh, the last chapter of my video pack collection. I think uh, this game is absolutely a great highlight. Absolutely great for collectors. If you get uh, one of these boxes, get them. They are absolutely good. If, if you are not very keen with video pack, this, this boxes, uh, these boxes are really, really good. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you want. So, we see us next week. I think uh, when will be maybe the television, I don't know, maybe I change my mind, but that was all with my video pack collection. Thanks for watching, have a good day, bye bye.